Welcome to our five minute BitTorrent demo. In this BitTorrent demo, we're going to show how BitTorrent is used to actually download a file. Each BitTorrent application has three parts torrent client software, one or more users, and a public or private tracker. In this demo, we're going to use a popular torrent client software called MicroTorrent. We are, of course, going to be the user, and we're going to make use of a private tracker called www legaltorrents.com. So starting with an empty desktop, let me first bring up the private, tra the private tracker. Here we are at legaltorrents.com at this website address. Now under account you can see that my name is highlighted, which suggests that I've already registered and logged in to this private tracker. The advantage of using a private tracker is that the quality of the network tends to be much better. The reason why is that once a user is registered and using the network, the private tracker requires me to upload a certain number of bits for each number of bits that I download. This of course is in the best interest of all concerned. So here LegalTorrents.com has lots of different pieces of media that are available to download and what's unique about LegalTorrents compared to 99% of the private trackers out there is that as its name implies it only makes available media that is completely legal for downloading either because it has no copyright issues or because the owner of the material has specifically made it available for the general internet community. So let me go ahead now and just pick one of these files for downloading. I'm going to download this movie called Nobody Needs to Know. Uh, before that let me just make this window smaller so you can see how this particular tracker is going to work uh, in combination with my MicroTorrent client. So when I click the download button I just need to verify uh, that this is the file I want to download and now what happens is that the MicroTorrent engine automatically fires up and once I, let me just minimize this window, and once I verify to MicroTorrent that I indeed was the one who initiated this download, it's going to go ahead now and start to download that file. So here is the file that I just told MicroTorrent to download called Nobody Needs to Know. And here we see that there are five seeds, of which I've already managed to contact one, and that there are two leeches. Sometimes leeches are also called peers. And I'm starting the process of downloading the file. Here's another file that's in the midst of me downloading, called the BBS Documentary Art Scene. That's about 70% complete, and I'm downloading close to a megabit per second. These other files are available for seeding from my computer although I can see from the fact that there's no upload speed on any of these that no one is currently making use of me as a seed on this network. I want to show you how sophisticated this particular application has gotten. If for example I look at one of these larger files that's currently in the process of downloading I can see all the users that I'm connected to right now and I'm getting information from them. Not only am I connected to several users in the United States but all these other flags suggest users in other countries to which I'm currently connected. This shows how BitTorrent has already become a global phenomenon. Let me just point out two other things. One is how sophisticated the software on the client side is. Here I brought up the scheduler for the MicroTorrent software. The scheduler basically allows me very quickly to determine what hours of the day to run the engine. I can run on full speed which is shown in dark green. I can have the system turned off, which is shown in white, or I can run at a slower speed that's predefined down here, which is a limited service. By doing so, I can avoid complications at work during work hours. Lastly, let me point out that right now I'm downloading at speeds of over 2 megabits per second and uploading at a sm somewhat sm slower rate. Because I have access to a T3 at work, I usually have pretty good download and upload speeds. However, when I use this application at home, I notice that my speeds, particularly my upload speed, is almost always limited to about 200 kilobits per second, no matter how many torrents I have uploading. And the reason for that is that as a Cablevision customer, my traffic is being shaped somewhere in their central office in order to limit the amount of upstream bandwidth that I consume in the network. That concludes our brief tutorial on BitTorrent.